to say the date in English. For dates in spoken English, we always use an ordinal number for the day. We say the 4th of July and not 4 of July. 4th is an ordinal number. Ordinal numbers show order or sequence. Normally, there is a th at the end of the number. For example, 7, 7th, 13, 13th. However, there are some exceptions. The ordinal numbers that are highlighted in red in the chart are irregular or have a slight change in spelling. The most important exceptions are for the first three days. We say first, second and third. Notice when written as numbers they end in st, nd or rd. All the other ordinal numbers end in th. There are two ways of giving the date in English. In the United States, they put the month before the day. The date that appears is March 7th. The exception is with the name of the U.S. celebration of the 4th of July. In British English, or in most of the rest of the world, the day comes first, before the month, so that the same day is the 7th of March. Notice how in spoken English you start with the, as in the 7th, and then of, between the day and the month. The 7th of March. Now look at the first date. It is written as March 7, without the th after the 7. In American English, it is not common to put the th after the number in written English. However, even if it is not written, the ordinal number is still said in spoken English. You need to be careful when writing the dates using only numbers. In United States, the number of the month is first, and then the day. So March 7th is written as 3, 7, and finally the year. Everywhere else, the number of the day is first and then the month. So the same date is written as 7, 3, 17. So what day is this? 3, 5, 18. Well, it depends on the country. It can be March 5th in the United States or the 3rd of May in the rest of the world. There's a big difference, isn't there? At least the year is the same, 2018. To avoid confusion when writing an email or any other written form of English, it is best to write the month as its name, January, February, or its abbreviation, Jan, Feb, etc., and not as its number. And remember, the months in English always start with a capital letter. August is with a capital A, a big A. Years are normally divided into two parts, the first digit or first two digits and the last two digits. In this example, the year is divided into the first two digits, 
19 and the last two digits, 84. So you would say the year is 1984. Look at these examples. 10, 66. 16, 52. 19, 41. 20, 17. For the year 2000, you say the year 2000. For the years 2001 to 2010, the most common way of saying the year is 2000 and plus the number. Listen to these examples. 2001 2002 2005 2008 See our other video about how to say the year in English for more details and exceptions. How can we ask for the date? You could ask, what day is it today? Though here people will probably respond with the day of the week, it's Monday, or the number, it's the 19th. The main ways of asking the date are, what date is it? Or, what is the date today? Or, what is today's date? Here, people may give you the number, is the 19th, or the day and the month, is the 19th of May, or May 19th. The most common response starts with, it is, or it's, then the date. Though you may also hear, the date is, or today is. I have two questions for you. When is your birthday? And the other question is, what day is it today? You can respond, today is, and the date you watched this video. Let us know in the comments. Have an awesome day.